Selling digital products is a great way to start earning extra income online. You can create your digital product one time and sell it over and over again, putting you on a path to passive income. Now, the one question I always get asked is where do I start selling my digital product? And in this video, I'm going to share with you how you can start selling your digital product using Stan Store. Stan Store is an all-in-one link in bio digital store where you can easily get your digital product store set up. It has an easy to use platform. You can set up your Stan Store using a laptop or a mobile phone. Just keep in mind that Stan Store is a paid platform. Their creator plan starts at $29 per month. But the good thing is that they don't charge any transaction fees. Sandstore does not have a free plan that is available. However, you can get started with a 14 day free trial. I will leave a link to that 14 day free trial down in the description box. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up your stand store step by step. And I'm also going to share with you my recommendations of who I think stand store is best for. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial. To get started with stand store, you will need to sign up and create an account. I will leave a link down below in the description box where you can sign up and get a 14 day free trial to test out stand store for yourself. Once you access your link, you're going to be prompted to add your information to set up your stand account. You need to create a username, add your name, email, and phone number, and also create your password. Once you've entered your information, you want to click on start your 14 day free trial. Next is going to prompt you to select your monthly plan and add your credit card payment. Don't worry, you still will be able to get access to that 14 day free trial. After your free trial is when you're going to be charged the $29 per month. Or if you select the annual, it, it will charge you that annual amount. After you enter your information, just click on start your free trial. Once you complete the sign up, it's going to bring you to your home dashboard and it has like this step by step track that you can follow to get your stand store set up. So the first step is to add your profile picture. So you want to go ahead and do that. Confirm your picture, then go to the next step. You want to add your social links. You can add a bio and you can add your social links. They have all majority of the platforms. The only one they don't currently have is threads. So maybe that's something they will add in the future. So once you're done, just scroll to the bottom and hit save, then hit next. Then you want to set up your direct deposit. This is how you're going to get paid. This is a question that I get asked all the time. How do I get paid? And that is by setting up your direct deposit. Now, in order to use Stan, you will need to connect your Stripe account. Another question I get asked all the time, will this work in my country? Once you get here, click on the drop down menu and just search for your country. Okay. And if your country is not listed, there's a possibility that it may not be available in your country. Okay. But for now, I'm going to hit skip. Next, we're going to add our digital product. So you want to click on create your product. With Stand Store, you can create a lead magnet and collect emails. You can do coaching calls, do an e-course webinar. You can redirect to another website or exclusive content that you have. Digital products. With digital products, this includes PDF files, templates, digital files, ebooks, audio files, all the digital products. A custom product, which is like their ask me anything type of product. So you can charge people to ask you questions, reoccurring memberships, and community community, you can host a free or a paid community on the stand store. So once we're ready to set up our digital product, we want to go to the top here and click digital product. The first step is to pick our button style over here on the right is going to show us a mock-up of how each style looks. So you can just choose which style that you like the best. I personally like the call out style button. So I'm going to choose that next is to choose your thumbnail. And this is a mock-up of your digital product. You want to show case your digital product so if you don't have a mock-up you can head over to canva and create a mock-up with their templates canva has tons of free templates that you can choose from to create your mock-up okay once you've added your mock-up next is to add your title of your digital product 
Next, you can add a subtitle. You can choose to add a subtitle or you can delete it. It's up to you. Next is your call to action button. Now you actually do need to have some text here for your call to action button. You can choose whatever you want it to be. Simply scroll down and hit next. The next page is your checkout page. This is what our customers are going to see when they check out. The first step is to select a header image for your checkout page. Stand Store does offer some free stock images that you can choose from. You can search for certain keyword terms. And if you like any of the stock images that they have, you can select that image and it's gonna add it to your page. The next step is to add description for your digital product. So first you want to provide a description title Next, we're going to add a brief description for a digital product. Stand Store does provide you with like a little bit of a template for you to work off of to create your description for your digital product. You can add that information here. You can add your, the features of the digital product or a list of benefits of your digital product. Sandstone also has an AI feature that helps you to generate a description for your digital product. So you can click on generate with AI, give it a brief description of your digital product, click on generate, and it's going to give you a description that you could use for your page. If you like it, you can hit replace and it's going to replace it here in a description and as you can see over here on the sideline you can see that description here next we're going to scroll down to our bottom title so this is just a subheading that you can add since we're selling the journal let's just change this out next is to add your call to action button you can leave it as is right now it says purchase if you want to change it you can change it next you can set your price after you set your price you're going to see the information that stand store actually collects from your customer which basically is just their name and email i wouldn't recommend adding an additional field unless it's absolutely necessary and here on step number five this is where you actually upload your digital product this is the product that your customer is going to receive so you need to upload that digital file here so click on upload and add your file so we have our image we have our description we have our price we have our call to action button and we uploaded our digital product before we hit publish I want us to scroll all the way back up to the top and then go to options because I just want to show you guys just a few more things that you could do with your stand store before you hit publish so click on options under the options section you can add a review reviews and testimonies help you make sales Okay, if you want to add any email flows, you can do that here. These next two options, order bump and affiliate a share are only available with the pro account. And the last thing that I want to actually show you is the confirmation email. So this is what your customers are going to receive once they make a purchase. So you want to make sure you pay attention to this section. Anything that you see like this highlighted here, you want to keep it there because Sandstore is going to automatically put that information in there. So it's going to have your customer name and you can say thank you for ordering the name of your product. It's going to have the product file and it's also going to have your name. If you want to add additional text to this email, you can do that. And once you have your confirmation email ready, next step is to hit publish. So now our digital product has been published to our Sandstore. And right now it looks kind of plain. So if you want to add any customization or design to your stand store, you want to click on edit design. Stand store does have a few templates that you can choose from. Let's see. As I scroll through, it's going to change. I want to just show them to you. And once you find one that you like, you can simply just click on that. Once you find a template or a style that you like, you can also add your own brand colors. You can add up to two brand colors by simply clicking on this color squares here. The first color is going to be your button colors. You can simply just drag the circle around or add your hex code. The second color is going to be your background color. Now, as far as the fonts go, there is a limited selection of fonts. You just choose one that you like or that one that fits closest to your brand and hit save. Now you can go back and add more digital products or more links to your stand store. So if you want to see your stand store, you can click on your link and it's going to show you your stand store. You can hit copy and this is the link that you want to add to your social media bios or anywhere that you want to share your stand store link. 
Okay, friends, so that is how you can get your stand store set up. Let's talk about who I think stand store is best for. I recommend stand store if you are looking for a fast and easy setup. A lot of people get lost in the sauce when it comes to setting up their website to sell their digital products and get stuck and they never start. With stand store, you can actually get your digital products ready to sell within 10 minutes. I also recommend stand store for anyone who can afford the $29 per month subscription fee and also for anyone who just wants to have one fee that they pay each month. With some of these other platforms, they do charge a transaction fee and that transaction fee can fluctuate from month to month. And sometimes, depending on what you're selling, that transaction fee can be more than the monthly subscription fee. And finally, I recommend Stand Store if you are ready to scale and simplify your digital product business. If you are someone who is currently selling digital products and you want to eliminate the need for all of the extra third-party tools like an email marketing platform or a third-party community platform, or you also are selling some type of coaching or course that you are selling and you want to have everything on one platform, Therefore, I think Standstore would be best for you because you're able to scale and simplify your digital product business by only using one tool. So those are my recommendations. Let me know in the comments if you plan to use Standstore to start selling your digital products. And don't forget to check out the link to grab your 14-day free trial. And if you need a few digital product ideas to help you get started, make sure you check out the video that's on your screen. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.